Hi, my name is Ante Brembakka and I'm the representative of Hansi Patrick McCarthy and Cory Gnadi in Finland. Project 16 is my attempt to find the core principles to Cory Gnadi as taught me by Hansi Patrick McCarthy. I honestly think it can very well be, be applied to any empty handed martial art. As the name indicates, it's a project, a work in process. But since I found it very helpful for myself and my students, I wanted to share it with other like-minded people. With Hanshi McCarthy's approval, Project 16 also became part of my studies for the Kyoshi license. The emphasis in Project 16 is on self-defense oriented drills. But I have also had a look at the sport aspect of martial arts when designing some of the drills. From a practical point of view, uh, the idea is to help the learner build functional spontaneity, just like in college night in general. In other words, no matter what position you find yourself in, you are able to respond and take required action. For example, escape, restrict, or maybe counterattack. A more ambitious goal for the serious practitioner is to gain a complete understanding of the empty-handed martial arts. Of course, there's a lot to learn and therefore in Project 16 I've tried to squeeze as much as possible uh, into a package that is as small and compact as possible. Project 16 helps to build a broad base for any empty-handed martial art. And at the same time, it's a valuable tool for helping students to find out their own way of doing things. Functionality is of course important, but in the long run, uh, learning to perform techniques in a way that promotes health is even more important. Project 16 is also about this. The name Project 16 occurred when I started to study and uh, systematize ways of uh, energy transfer, body dynamics, as done in the Corriginari Kihon. Eventually I ended up with 16 different combinations. Inspired by Sensei McCarthy's teachings, I went on to the closer at hand positioning. In other words, how the defender's hand can be in position related to the attacker. For example, if it's a right-handed attack, I can respond by uh, receiving it with my left hand or my right hand. I can obviously both be both on the inside of the attacker's hand or on the outside. The same goes, of course, if the attack is to the lower level and if the attack is with the left, left hand. So this also gives us 16 different options. Quite inter interestingly, if both hands are involved in the hand positioning, there are also 16 possibilities. After discovering this, I just had to pick the 16, at least to me, most important joint locks, uh, strangulations and uh, vital points from Sensei McCarthy's drills, adding a few favorites of my own and make up drills that consist of 16 techniques. Uh, for the ancient Chinese, other numbers were important. Me, myself, I became obsessed with number 16. I felt that 16 is a reasonable amount, fairly easy to remember, but still enough to cover the whole body when it comes to going through different joint locks, different strangulations, different uh, vital points. With all the information available for free on YouTube these days, why would you pay for an instructional video? Well, one thing is quality. Making good quality videos takes lots of time and it costs money. But in the case of Project 16, more importantly, I think the videos will help you to see the big picture of martial arts. So if you feel that uh, there's so much to learn, 
but still not enough time to practice at all, then I think Project 16 is for you. I've been training martial arts for more than 30 years and during all these years uh, I've been lucky to learn from many great instructors. But the most important one by far is Hanshi Patrick McCarthy, my own teacher and without him uh, it would be impossible for me to come to see big pictures like I feel I do these days. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. If you have any questions don't hesitate to send me a line. Take care. Bye.